Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. How is everybody doing? Man, I'm doing so good. Our village is growing and growing and growing. We finally have a bunch of villagers down here and they're so cool because they're actually manning the spots here that we built the market in the last episode and it's super cool. I also picked out the names that you guys suggested for the markets right behind us and thank you again so much for all the likes and love you guys have been giving on this series, especially, you know, uh, all these videos, man. It's, it, it, I've been feeling so good just coming over here and recording more and building more because I know you guys are looking so forward to it. So thank you, thank you so much for all the support on this series. But you know what? Today, I got a really cool question of the day. This is super awesome. So let me know down below. I was thinking about uh, making custom biomes and stuff. I wanted to make a, like a little, almost like a video showcase of different biomes that you can that you can actually make in Minecraft. Uh, and I want to ask you guys if you can add one custom biome in Minecraft that doesn't exist right now. What would you add? Uh, as, an, as an example, one that I've always wanted. You know my my skin, right? It's a Fallout skin, right? You're gonna check it out. I've always wanted almost like a wasteland biome, something with like a lot of coarse dirt, a lot of gravel, uh, uh, dead bushes, bro uh, like a bunch of broken uh, buildings. That, uh, like if you find a village in one of those wasteland biomes, it'll be like a broken, uh, ruined-like village, something like that, with like very uh, uh, almost like you know like an atomic bomb went off and the world is dead, dead trees. Trees, trees on the ground, uh, stuff like that. That would be my, one of my dream biomes. And it, it's a little bit, you know, it, it's a little sad to look at, but awesome at the same time. So what would you pick if you could make your own custom biome? What would it look like? What would it be uh, uh, like? What, what kind of stuff do you see inside it? What's specific about those biomes that you won't find somewhere else, maybe? Even add new stuff to it. Let me know. Let me know down below. It's a really, really cool concept. And um, you know what? Maybe some of your ideas might make it into an upcoming video. You never know. Just let me know <laughs> down below. But let's turn around let's see what's going on with our village let's go on in and hold on let me put my clothes back on because i don't want to get blown up if something bad happens so we got villagers uh so first off this awesome shop here that we have uh made in the last episode with our uh breaking bad references over here that they still been kissing i don't know what's going on and some random fish they sell live fish so we went with Aquatica. There you go. And I'm going to put on the screen right now who came up with these amazing suggestions. And thank you again for everybody with some awesome choices here. Aquatica. That is so cool. This seems so legit. Like a corporation actually made this up. Uh, and then we have some villagers. Here's Goku hanging out right here. What's up, Goku? Don't slap anybody. Um, then over here we got... Uh, I love this one. Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja Groceries. That is so awesome. So thank you again so much for that amazing suggestion. I love that game. That game was old school, man. But we got um, a bunch of stuff in here. The grocery store is going crazy. Ponyo hanging out here, making sure nobody steals anything. That's right. Uh, and then we have, who are you? Oh, man, we still need some more villager names. So uh, keep them coming. Uh, I'm going to add them on the next episode. So right here, this is the person manning the Bite Me Fishing Supplies. <laughs> I love that name so much. Thank you so much for that one. That one actually made me laugh real hard. Bite me. That's awesome. Especially, you know, for a fish, you know, fish tackle bait, fish bite. You know, I'm not going to explain no more. Now, come with me over here. Now we have... This one was awesome. This one made sense. Yoshi's Journey Imported Goods. And is manned by Liu Kang, one of the greatest Mortal Kombat characters in the history of Mortal Kombat. Da, 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 da. Is that... Wait, does that what Liu Kang says or, or Chung Li? I think that's Liu Kang when he's doing the bicycle kicks. Listen, Yoshi's Journey, super cool idea, especially since Yoshi was one of our first villagers. Well, it was our first villager here in this kingdom. You know what? Yoshi came from, you know, all, all over the world, and Yoshi brought in the goods. So, and this is uh, Liu Kang is totally um, working for Yoshi. So, there you go. That's a super awesome um scenario that was uh somebody do some fan fiction on that uh but there you go also some really cool suggestions we have here wait what are you doing on the boat get out of the boat it's not your boat oh, who is this day oh yes <laughs> daisy's back i told you guys last episode we have the demise of daisy but don't worry daisy respawned she collected all the coins the one-ups to get back in here she actually came on this boat so now she's running this boat daisy's safe for life don't worry she ain't gonna be dying from no more um things right unless she walks away and heads over to a bush bye bye daisy she's on her way out uh but also a really cool suggestion some people are saying and i've done this before on uh bubbles's house i put some uh some meat right here so we did this cool little trick you put a campfire down you throw some fish down then you throw splash some water on that and boom there, we got some um items there for days and uh taka is having a great time here get, get down from there taka you just 
Take care, people. Um, <laughs> super awesome suggestions. Also, a boat is coming. I promise. We're going to put boats. Uh, I'm going to probably put one coming in that direction. Uh, and maybe park one more, like a little smaller one here. Uh, that's coming up. But today, we have something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And I've been preparing. Ow! Daisy, don't go on that. And I've been preparing for this day. If you guys notice, I've been clearing. I've been showing off some clear jobs that I've been doing for our panda habitat. And let me go ahead and show you what we have set up. And also, I have something lined up because today, the panda habitat is coming up, right? That's right. Wait, what are you doing in this boat? Huh. Okay. Iron Golem, where were you last time, man? There was a whole bunch of uh, zombies over here. Let me push them. Can, can you please? Can you please? You're actually stuck, aren't you? Uh, you're, you're stuck here, aren't you? He's stuck in here. Um. Kitty! Kitty cat! New kitty! Oh, yeah, you new kitty? No, that's the Shimi! <laughs> What's up, my friend? <laughs> what is it? What did you teleport? What happened? Did somebody bother you inside the cave? Did I ever tell anybody this was sashimi? Uh, guys, sashimi, sashimi, the, everybody. Uh, hello. Uh, I forgot if uh, if I ever named him uh, or showed you people uh, his name. Can you please get out of here? I am gonna go protect those villagers. Sashimi, what's up, my friend? <laughs> Did I ever show? I think I showed it. I'm not 100 percent sure now. But sashimi, what are you doing here? Come with me. You want to go check out the panda habitat? Come with me, my friend. That's sashimi, everybody. But come over here. I've been working. Got a new kitty cat. Sashimi, attack! It's a wild uh, cat. And here we have it, baby. We have our panda habitat lined up and ready for building today. So this took a very long time. Clearing out a jungle is no easy task, but we did it. It took a while. It took about a week and a half, probably. And I have an outline here ready to go. So Shimi is here going to be investigating. It's going to be our build inspector, and the, the pandas are ready to go. And that's right. What's up, Moji? Uh, but this is going to be the outline. But you know what? Let me make a daytime. Let's get some materials ready. We're going to start building our panda habitat today. I don't know if we're going to finish it today, but at least get the main structure, the walls, the towers up, uh, and make it look pretty. But give me a second. So Shimi, I'll be right back. Let me make a daytime. All right, let's get some building underway. So what I'm thinking about, all of these, these are going to be gates to get in. So we're going to have a front gate and we're going to have a back gate right there. This completely mirrored this side to the next side. Now, over here we have a gap of three, gap of three, towers on the corners uh, right here. So these, I want to give it that really cool little circular look that we've been doing that we actually did for our, uh, what is it? What did I do it again on? <laughs> I did it on the dojo, the uh, animal dojo. So we're going to make some little circle windows. Circle window here, and it's gonna be just aesthetic. It's gonna look good. It's gonna be elevated too, so nothing can really get in and out from there. So it's gonna look good. So that's gonna be here on this side, also mirrored on this side with the towers on each bit. Now, these towers are gonna get inspiration from what we did over there. So it's gonna be similar, but a little smaller scale. Uh, so it's gonna be just little corner uh, aesthetic towers. Not gonna be nothing too crazy. We can maybe put a door here on the side if you wanted to put some stuff to get up there. Uh, and I might make it as the top of the tower is almost like an observation center. So you can go up and then you can just look around, have it almost like a, like a watchtower look to it, but similar to something like we did over there. Now, that's the look, that what I'm thinking about. Now, in this middle part, this gate, I'm thinking about making it almost like a nice big Tory gate uh, on both sides mirrored But something really cool like a stacked up Tory gate something very cool and grand looking uh, now over here We're gonna kind of do the same thing So we're gonna put a little circle right here a little circle here and a little circle thing here then over here There's not gonna be a gate, but it's gonna be almost like a uh, almost like a building looking kind of thing uh, It's gonna look very really cool, but I, I might hmm Let's see, it's not, it's going to be pushed out to this, pushed out to this. So this will be like where the pandas can sleep if they wanted to go indoors somewhere. So almost like a very open field. It's going to look like almost like they had like little yoga mat kind of things on the floor. Uh, wood flooring, something very cool, very nice. Uh, so we're going to put that here and then over there. And it's going to have a nice sort of roof to it. Uh, now, a lot of this middle part, I'm going to make it almost inspired like a Zen garden kind of thing. We're going to have a center tree. So it's going to be like a center bonsai looking tree, maybe like right about there centered to everything right about i think here center um so it's gonna be pretty cool we're gonna put a center tree but it's gonna be a lot of zen garden looking stuff uh we might have in every corner what's up sashimi my friend uh we might have in every corner like a little baby koi ponds maybe something like that and make it look very cool but very clean it's not gonna be very messy it's gonna be look very very clean i got good ideas for zen garden stuff or maybe some sandstone oh so cool sandstone and sand combos but i can't wait it's gonna be really really cool but for now 
um, let me just start right here and show you what I'm thinking about and we'll just modify it as we go along uh, we probably won't build this whole thing on okay? cake it's gonna take forever this might, this might actually uh, be a little late in releasing the next video uh, for this because it's gonna take a little while to get this done so hopefully you guys understand if we don't do back-to-back -back single player world videos just because of that probably because uh, we're hard at work trying to come up with some really cool designs and maybe the build is a little bit too big uh, but hopefully you guys understand uh, but this is what I'm thinking about I want to put I want to put like a base over here of let's see hmm I want to do let's do a stone corner like this down here I might bring in oh you know what I don't even think I brought the right materials let me see I need some wood I brought nothing but stone hold on let me get a wood log real fast I'm not ready all right so let's try this out right now so I brought some wood I brought some dark oak so we're gonna put dark oak on these corner bits so dark oak here dark oak here maybe take it up with another this is one two three four five I want to make a tall like wall here but nothing too crazy nothing like nothing too big that is going to take away from the coolness that's happening inside uh so something like this maybe barrels here no um <laughs> hopefully no villagers come this way we're gonna have a ton of fishermen but i don't care uh so right here and then what if we take a little bit of white coming up right here then we're gonna do our little circle trick maybe at this angle right there that's high enough i think that's really good You're keeping that white and then we come in with the trap doors all the way around like so something like that no that looks pretty cool and then uh i forgot my scaffold i knew i forgot some um hold on let's let me pillar up here so how would this look like if we pillar here <laughs> let's let me do this one too and then we'll do the rest uh after so let's go down 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 then this would be here 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 Take this away, dropping this back down. One, two, take it up, up, up. Then we're gonna put a stair here. here. There we go. Stair there, a stair here. Let me take this out so I can get up there. Uh, a stair here. I'm gonna put trap doors down below. There we go. Trap door here, trap door here, the trap door there. Take it up one more, one more here, one more. Then bring that white one more time here and here. And I love this stem block so much. And I think once we get to here, we can go even one more and then cross beam and then go up here and then cross beam. And I think that would do it. Let's get down. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like that a lot. And I was thinking about maybe stripping this. But I think that seeing the wood in here makes it more natural, like a more like a more natural environment than the strip. The strip seems more like polished, something that you would see more in a in a residential building or something like that. But for this being a panda habitat, I think that's gonna look really really cool. We can add even some more details underneath. But you know what? I'm loving this. Let me go ahead and repeat this bad boy in every gap right there, over there. Over there, 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 there. It'll be a while. Let me finish this up. But uh, let's see what it looks like when we have this base structure all the way around. All right, check it out. It is looking really, really cool. Very basic, but very cool. Now, I started to add details. Let me go inside over here and show you. There it goes. We got this cool little roof to it. I like that so much. So, check this out. So, we're not going to have really any flare out on the top because all of these are going to kind of be connected to another build part, right? So, there's going to be a big old gate. Over there, we're going to have that tall uh, little living area for the, for the pandas or whatever we're gonna work out there so we can't do the normal typical like flare out kind of thing so it kind of stops right there so i kind of went with this design so it's a full block a slab and then a trap door stairs underneath every log bit and then slabs underneath those trap doors underneath that bad boy and then a, a stair facing uh, upwards, and then we're hanging some lights. We're hanging some lights there, and then every other corner here where the beams are, we're putting some of these uh, lovely stairs, and it looks really, really good. So that's a smaller version. This is a larger version, and it looks so nice. What do you think? It, it looks very clean. It's not broken up. It looks very pristine and nice, and I like it a lot. So let me build some of these on Cam so you guys can see exactly how we're doing it. Uh, for right now, Sashimi and that random wild tiger there just hanging out. Um, so let's go up to the tippity tip top and let's do it so for this one this is how we're doing it so it's gonna be a stair right about here here and here then we have trap doors underneath those bad boys right there then we got slabs on top slabs up top right there so let's go up a little more 
so we can get to the very very top here we go now here super simple we're gonna go with trap doors on the edges i don't think i have enough trap doors to do this whole thing <laughs> i gotta go get some more that's fine so we're just gonna go all the way down to here and then once we cover this up then on top of this one we're going with slab so that goes all the way down like this and then on top of these we're going with full blocks and that's it that's all there is to it we're just gonna go ahead and just repeat that on the other side just to match it up and it was looking very very cool so once we're done with that over here really really simple just grab another stair face it downwards like so walls underneath those and we're gonna come and drop those landers underneath that bad boy and then stairs right there and that's cool right isn't that also super simple but it looks super cool <laughs> so now well, the only thing i gotta do is repeat this all the way around <laughs> so give me a second let's do that first and then we'll work on maybe the gates yeah i think the gates or maybe the towers i don't know we'll see oh baby baby check this out i love these tory gate houses it's looking really really cool we kept on with that theme of giving that little circle feel in the middle i got it as fence gates to make it look cooler so you can actually see through and and just easier access to open and close the doors uh so that's looking really really good i love that roof it went with the style that we've been going with actually this one is similar uh to what we did on our storage house uh but i made it as a tory gate so it's just simple just a couple of red pillars and the red pillar it's it stands out so much just because it's actually matching what we did oh we did another one right here uh it's matching the the bridge over there <laughs> so it's super awesome also one of our villagers is training bells so we're getting bells and we can use them as decorations right there and right there but look at that isn't that oh hello welcome my good friend are you here to witness our brand new and improved not even open yet uh panda habitat can you please um on your way just passing through i see oh hi can i see what you have for sale absolutely positively useless leave please i dare you to spit at me you ain't gonna do nothing i dare you to i zigzag you what i zigzag you're not gonna even good you're not even good at spitting you know no i've seen people good at spitting and you're not one of them see that uh-huh neo the matrix that's right you miss every single time you miss every time see even, i don't even get close to you I even get close to you. Oh, your friend's spinning at you. What did you talk to your friend? <laughs> what did you talk to your friend? He's spinning at you now. <laughs> Look at that. Ow. Wait, how does that spit go from that llama straight through to my to my face? Oh, I take that lead though. Thank you. Oh, you stupid. All right, let's keep building. <laughs> so what do you guys think of our uh, double Tory gate house entrances? I love it. I really do love it. The red just pops with that stem white block right there. Right, Sashimi? You're the best. Here you go. Eat some of the. I don't have any fish. You like the opposite of bubbles. You like you don't, you don't like me. You like fish. You're so good. How about some uh, uh, chicken yakitori? Maybe I don't know. Okay. So you know what I want to start building now? I want to start building these a uh, little tower bits. So let's build a little bit together. You you almost ready to come in? Yes. Uh, Moshi just going crazy. So for this one, I'm just gonna take it up. Uh, let's go up with the dark oak again. I want to continue the theme of the little circle doors, but we're not gonna be able to put any on this side or on this side. So we're just pretty much gonna go on these ends. So for these. Hmm, do we want to put it at the same level? I think I do. I think I do. Let's put them at the same level. So, right here, right here. Let's take that up again. We're going to put the trap doors here, here. Trap, oh, oh we got to lift that, right? <laughs> trap door right about there. Uh, let's do it on all these sides. So, take that up here and looking good. So, here with the stair, here with the stair, stairs here. Ooh, wait, what am I doing? I just said I wasn't going to do it and I could, uh, whatever. Shush. Uh, don't scream at me. I'm fine. So we're just going to take these up right here. <laughs> take these up right here. And then go up one more on that, that, and that. And also this one, pork or sausage. Let's go. Uh, and can you get a hashtag pork or sausage? The best sausage? Yes. Okay. Let's keep going. So something like this. And I totally messed up on that one. And I totally messed up on that one as well. It's okay. We'll fix it. So that goes here. Go away. That's going to go here. I hear Moshi just, just giggling in the background. Shut, shut your mouth, Moshi. Uh, and then this one goes one more level one more level and then this one is gonna go with the trap here 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 then we're gonna go up one more as well right about here there we go one more another level right here these go up right and then this goes there boom and a boom and then this separation now what are we gonna do on the next level hmm because the way we have it here this pretty much goes right to here and then this cross beams right so we can continue that theme keep it going so we got that going all the way around here that goes like that so then that would lead us to then the next level so i want to do at least two of these so i'm going to repeat the same one same pattern 
right up here and see what that will look like. But then we also have a little bit of a gap, right? We have a little section here. So down here we have it as cobble, but I, I, I need to bring in some barrels. Do I have any more barrels on me? And then we're gonna go up to the next level and pretty much repeat that same thing, repeat it one more time. And then once we get to the tippy top, I'll work on a little bit of a, uh, like a little watchtower looking thing. What do you guys think? Is that cool? I came up with a cool little design, so we stop right there, but I kind of like this little flare out in this same uh, spruce. And it's pretty cool because it connects right to the lining of that uh, wall that we had. So it connects perfectly right here with some trap doors going lined around, put some upside down stairs, every other one with some slabs, and it's some just gradual slabs going up in the corner. Over here, same thing, gradually going up in the corner. I don't know if I want to dip it lower down here, but for now, I kind of like that. And then we have our barrel in the inside here we have some composters on the outside here um i, I try to mess around with the uh, the base because we couldn't go with stairs by putting them in the corners like we did here because it would be weird because it'll just connect to that so i put some buttons here with some just regular oak buttons and some composter with some bush on it and that keeps it really really cool i kind of like that that looks awesome now let me go inside let me show you what i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do another one of these little flare things right on the next level and then after that We'll work on uh, our little, uh, I think the next stage, whatever we're gonna do right there. But I like this little entrance too, so we have a way in now. So just got rid of these three corner bits right there. And then uh, it's just one, two, three, and on the fourth one, put a little bit of a trap door here. We'll let, let that go one more up, so it has a nice little gradual way up. And it looks pretty cool, so it's just a random way in. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna keep the pandas out from going in there, but whatever, they can go whatever they want. Uh, up here is a simple way up with a ladder, I think. Uh, and then over here, since it's all circles around here, there's no other way to get up here, so uh, I, I got a little ladder <laughs> to get up to this next section. So uh, I think it's gonna look pretty cool like that. Then, right here, this is what we're doing. I'm gonna put trap doors, like see, right about there. So trap door there, we're gonna trap door right about here, trap door right about there. Let's see what this looks like, another little trap right there, another little trap right there, and then one more set right here and right about there. And Mochi is non-stop on his belly. Uh, and then we're gonna have stairs upside down right here every other one we're gonna have a stair going around like so so that goes around like this oh i missed one right this one goes right there another one here and then we're gonna go every other one and then after that we're gonna put slabs in the middle in between bits that we just missed so we're gonna put slabs going like so all the way around like I no like this <laughs> then we're gonna grab some of those trap doors again and then we're gonna put the trap door I'm putting it right underneath there oh I forgot you slab hold on put a trap door there put a trap door here put another trap door here then I'm gonna put a log right up on top of that and that's gonna make it look pretty cool because we're gonna have a really cool transition now so after that uh, we're gonna go with, it's gonna be a slab here, a slab here, then this is gonna be like a, let's see, a placeholder that goes here, and then this goes away, and that's, I'm gonna catch you, I missed, nope, <laughs> we're gonna put that right there, so that gives us that cool little look, so we're gonna repeat this all the way around, so one here, one here, placeholder that goes on top, and let's see if I can catch this one this time, one, two, three, catch! Oh, thank you for going on top. Uh, so that goes around. And hello, you go wrong place. You go down here. Very nice. Uh, so we're going to keep doing that. We're going to go all the way around and repeat that here. One more placeholder. Boom. And then I'm definitely going to catch this one. Watch. Got him. And then this goes down here. So that repeats all the way around. And we got what? One more? All right. Uh, why not? Let's do one more. If not, it'll look weird if we do it here. So we're going to go here. Boom. And one more. Last bit. Grab it. Beautiful. That goes right there. So that gives us that cool little elevated look that goes all the way around. And I love that. I love that a lot. Then, let me see. Let me look at it over here. So up here, then, we're going to have trap doors, right? And these trap doors go all the way around, just like we did on the wall earlier. And then we're going to have trap doors here and there. And then slabs here, here, and there. So that just repeats itself all the way around. And then this time, I could do it on all sides. Because down here, we weren't able to uh, just because we had the big wall in the way. Oh, hey, hi. You're not supposed to be that. <laughs> I don't know what that was that's fine uh so then this goes all the way around so let's do that again here 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 this goes here here and there we go we got more so these go there there and there and then repeating again ah, i fell but you get the picture right so i'm just gonna go ahead and repeat this oh that kind of looks good up and down like that hmm all right let me repeat that all the way around uh and get the next section set up 
All right, now that we're up here, I gave it a little bit of an extra bit of a platform. So I went up three logs on each side. Uh, I put some barrels surrounding that little spot. Uh, I need to put a floor in there in a second, but then I put some slabs on top of these for now. Uh, I might change the middle ones for some trap doors, but then up here, I wanna work on a little bit of a roof. Um, so I'm thinking about doing like a little under border that we've been doing with some dark, uh, the dark oak, I think. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the stone top, but I'm thinking we're gonna do something similar that we've done before so a couple, a couple stairs right here a couple stairs right here so we're gonna make this one a little bit fancier on the tippy top so like that stairs here stairs he uh wait did I do that right no here stairs there get rid of you get rid of that corner bit so we're gonna put stairs wrapped around and in those that little middle gap that you just saw right there we're gonna put some of these uh lovely old slabs so it's gonna look cool so then this one's gonna go here then this one's gonna go here and this is similar to the style we did for one well the, the storage unit and then also one of the uh the little small market stalls that so looks pretty cool so something like that then i'm gonna come in with slabs i'm gonna do it with slabs right here so one two maybe maybe just maybe three there i don't know if that might be too much but because this is a small scale thing so one two three then we go in one two three then this would go out right there so i'm doing this all in stone for now i think it's gonna be cool we can come back and give it that texture uh, but for now i want to see what i'm doing first so something like this and this is gonna kind of wrap around going all the way around like the, this yeah okay and then one two three that goes here that goes there so that kind of wraps around there this one's gonna go full layer like so i think um <laughs> oh wait right here okay i think we're going pretty good then i want to think maybe we're putting a slab on these corner bits as well right i think so so a little slab on this little corner bits just to round it off right there right there and right there then i'm thinking we can come in with a full block on those so full block on that full block there full block there then i don't know if i want like quad peaks i think i want to make it sort of like we did here like straight up and down and then like a middle gap um i don't know i think if we're doing it from this angle i think probably the best thing to do is go up right here so maybe something like this. So maybe a, a single there? Wait, a single there with a stair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a single there with a stair. So the stair here, yeah. So that goes up, then a stair here. This is gonna go this direction, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go this direction. And then we're just gonna go up with it uh, like this at this angle. And then this is gonna go up at this angle. Parkour sausage, hashtag. Uh, and then this is gonna go like that. And I'm thinking we just ended up right there for now. Maybe a full block there. Uh, I don't know, let's just cap it off like this simple. Uh, and then I'll just repeat that over here. And I think this might just do it, I think. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, and then how about we go one, two, three, and then here. I think that's cool. And then we'll come back the other way. And then we'll fill the middle. I don't know if I want to fill the middle all with stone or fill the middle with um, a, another thing. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I don't know. We're beta testing this right now. So I'm thinking this is looking okay. I think we might even just come up with this and maybe even do something with this flare. As far as a flare out though, let's see if I can come up with something cool. I think it's something simple like that might just do the trick and just we'll just do it all the way around but let me keep playing with it if i like it i'll just repeat it on all the sides but give me a second let me play around with some stuff all right you know what we're not gonna have enough time to finish this huge project i just want to go ahead and release this video for you guys but you know what when we come back we'll finish it off and we'll start on the zen garden we still have some more stuff to do but for now it's looking really really cool we did some path work going all the way around over here it's kind of connecting from that path over there looking awesome we still gotta add a lot more details but at least we got the ball rolling on the path but guess what this is looking really really cool let me show you the front facade look at that we got the other tower done the middle gate
plate is looking amazing. Everything here on this side is looking awesome. We just need to repeat this on the other side. Mochi's hanging out right here, just having the time of his life. There he goes. He's going to be our front door mascot right here, greeting everybody who's coming in. But what do you think? Let me flip. This is looking really, really awesome. Eventually, we're going to add like a little dock uh, entrance right here as well on the little river. Uh, but we still have to do a lot more. We still have to do the towers on the other side. We still have to do this little middle portion here. But I really want to release this out for you guys so you can have it. Uh, and then we'll continue it. If anything off Cam, I'll definitely repeat those towers on the other side. We'll come back on the next episode. We'll do this little middle section. And we'll start on the Zen Garden. How's that? We'll do that for the next one. But at least the Panda Habitat has started. Sashimi is doing so fantastic. And I love this so much. This is going to be at the end probably the best build in this area. And look at that right there from the other side. Oh, come on. Look at that. <laughs> That's super cool. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this. Get, go ahead. Go crazy in the comment section. Let me know what you think. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's looking pretty awesome. And imagine, this is just the beginning. Once we get over to the top part of that mountain over there, imagine once we start that temple, that big old castle. Oh, come on. This is just the beginning. I'm getting I'm getting a little bit of inspiration before we get to the big, 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 big builds. But this is pretty big itself. So uh, it's taking a while. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. We're going to be out for now. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. I'll see if I can go ahead and do a back-to-back -to, -back to give you guys a little bit more single-player love. But I'm out. See you guys on the next one. Goodbye.